Hey guys, Angler here. Welcome back to Bait and Kato's Origins. In the last part, we beat Giacomo once and for all. And in this part, we're gonna head to Noonkey Valley to stop Hughes's evil plot. I believe this is a fairly short dungeon, but there's like two or three separate boss fights, which is kind of a pain. Actually, no. It wasn't short, because there's a bunch of fire that you have to put out, and it takes forever to get around. Look, Soggy! Pro Machination's already begun! Coister, Pro Machination in Sadal Sud is underway. What about Rodolfo? Rodolfo opposes Pro Machination, but Bud Hughes pushed forward against his wishes. As usual with the Empire. Can you stop him by force? We'll try, sir. But he's likely to bring out a Machina Arma. I don't think we can stop him if he does. Quaster, can you send us any backup? Bill Height has a lot of war, even in the army. I can't make things happen the way I used to. This is an embarrassing thing for the head of military affairs to say. But right now, you're all I can count on. I understand. We'll do our best, sir. Thank you. So, here we go. As you can see, the enemies haven't really changed much since the last time we went through here. I mean, they're tougher than the human types at Rodolfo's estate, but... Human types have always been by far the weakest enemies in this series. Which is funny, seeing as they use guns and everything else doesn't have guns. Hopefully I can drop this thing quickly. Well, it looks like that's all it's doing. You win! Nice. Anyway, let's keep going. I'm just going to ignore the soldiers as it's not mandatory to kill. Or I could walk down a little too far and go right into it. Maybe I stand corrected about the human types. If I remember right, these guys were actually pretty annoying. After I finish up this dungeon, I should probably go and try to increase my class level. Lethal. 
And it looks like that's the finishing blow anyway, so everyone gets their health back. Sorry about that. How about that? So we get a shield. <laughs> Shields. So we get a copy of a finisher I've used for most of the game. Yeah, we're gonna need the flame ice. Because we need to use that crane to make a path. I'm just gonna escape if I draw it, because I don't want to fight these guys. Well, looks like I'm fighting. Or not, I'm getting out of here. Because I don't know, I'm thinking I might have a little free fish or soggy or something. Yeah, I never put that in my deck for whatever reason. Well, with that, I'll completely change Soggy's finisher setup as I believe I can do something really good if I use Heaven Fall. Uh, where's Ice Bloom? Ice Bloom and Grime Blade. There we go. None of my decks fixed. Let's fix up the crane. Well, did I grab the flame ice? Yep. Now that makes a bridge to the other side that we can use. We don't need any water. <laughs> huh. The last time I used that to upgrade, it gave me a weapon with the exact same stats as the last one. I mean, the effect is better, but... I used that weapon for the damage, not the effect it has. So now we can just keep going down this side. But first it looks like I need to get some more flame ice to fix the crane. Because I need treasure and I can't get the treasure if I don't fix it. Yep, we're spies alright. Let's just clean these guys up. May my blade be sharp. Or not. Okay. Yeah, we're out of there. Let's go down. Fix the crane. Now we can cross over here. So we have a new finisher for Millie. Oh, screw off. I'll kill it, but that's only because it's gonna keep getting in my way if I don't. Alright. Bye, escape. Get 
get rid of all that healing junk. Yeah, that works. Gila almost died. A predictable win. Now let's go down and around and get my treasure. Let me check the deck, because I think that's better than what I currently have for Soggy. 62. Fifty. Oh, I might as well use it. I mean, I get way more uses out of the other weapon, but... That power increase. Oh man, but I gotta go get more flame ice before I do anything. Because I need to go fix the crane. I have to go back around. Go up. Actually, wait. No, I don't need to go all the way over here, so why am I going over here? And it looks like I'm in another fight. Uh, need the two plus. Okay. Get out can add the same thing to the field guide twice, but whatever. Actually, never mind. I do need to go all the way around to get the flame ice. <sighs> I don't know why I thought I didn't. Okay, maybe not all the way around, but given how long I thought it would take, it's still pretty annoying. Whatever. I. Well, seeing as we found the save flower in the room after this one, I'm pretty sure that's all we need. Only five enemies? That's way too hard. Let's regroup. I mean, if you're gonna give me an escape for the first card, I'm gonna use it. Maybe I should check my levels again. Ugh. They aren't bad, but I might want them a bit higher. 
I just hope I'm not forced... I, I just hope the disc doesn't end immediately after I fight the boss here. And... Because if it does, that's kind of a problem. If I'm allowed to choose when I end the disc, though, then it's not so bad. Whoa, okay, ran a behind attack. Ah, uh, screw it. Let's take him out. Let's just keep it going. Okay, that was weak as usual. I swear, that was only slightly better. That was solid. Terrible. Oh yeah, level one to level three. And of course, Gilo decided to pass out. But it doesn't matter, because I'm sure this combo's getting a kill. Yeah, that was really good. If I can get combos like that somewhat often, the boss coming up isn't going to be hard, as I think it only has like 5,000 health or so. Oh, what do you know? Another finisher of Gilo's I've been using basically the whole game. Anyway, we'll jump across here, steal this. And I'm gonna need to change Millie's setup. Because... The finisher I just got leads into a really good EX combo. I love how Millie doesn't get her first level 3 finisher until the game's basically finished. Let's regroup. Well, I wouldn't say basically finished, but... There was only like three... There's only like three more dungeons after the, that point. confused on how to proceed. Because I can go up here, but not around. I didn't want to get into a fight. Can I just draw my escape and get out of here? I mean, I have two of them for a reason. Thank you. I'm going home. Well, looking at how much time I have, I think I'll end the part off here anyway. So, next time on Bait and Kato's Origins, I'll fight the bosses of this place and hopefully finish disc one off. See you guys then.